our videos and today Gabby is going to share with you his favorite biscuit this is the organics cocoa vanilla Garofalo biscuit um, this is a vegan friendly biscuit why do you like this Gabby because his mom is working his mom is working his cups is Eating. <laughs> so if mommy is working and Gabby is eating, it makes Gabby sense. Is, Gabby is watching. And watching. So okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you do on the weekend? Where you've been on the weekend? Go. You went to Gina. We went to Gina's birthday. Yay. Yes. And what Yay. did you do there? I got this picture my Gina. Picture of Gina. Yay. Yay! Happy I birthday wonder, again, Gina. Gabby is stronger. Yes, Gabby is stronger. So thank you, Tata, for the shirt. Mm -hmm. You want to say thank you to Tata for the shirt? Thank you, my shirt, Tata. My, uh, my bright cat and my my Captain Dunia America shirt. And yes. And Bobo and Gigi. Bobo, Bobo and Gigi. Oh, thank you so much. Bye. Flying kiss to Bobo and Gigi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, in this vlog, I will be sharing with you some of the items that I will be using in my next batch of candles that I am testing right now as you know I am starting my blank burn candles um, it's a hundred percent soy and also I'm trying the para soy as well because I don't know yet which one works for me at the moment I've tried 464 uh, golden wax 464 and also the para soy I have a very good experience with both um, I have a very good half throws but obviously not all the scents were will work with the Paris with the soy wax 464 um, they have all very good ha cold rows but not all have a very good hot row so it depends on the sense that you will be using and um, as you know candle making is kind of science it's not kind but it's a science that requires precision requires um, a good measurement an accurate measurement if possible and also the temperature that you will be using so with that I have purchased um, the measuring cup um, this I will be using in different scents I'm not gonna be producing a lot yet because I'm trying the the half rows of those ones that I will be producing well they all have a very good half rows but I'm trying to test how many hours of burn with that before I finally produce the candles so uh, what I did was I purchased different um, like numbers of measuring cup for each scent so I will be labeling each bottle with each scent and this one also goes with a stick already so when you're pouring the um, the scents to the bottle it will not spill so this is a very good one compared to the silicone I've purchased the silicone but I've returned it and next one is this a wax melting pot I already have one which I'm using for my soy wax I've purchased another one because I don't want to mix the parasol with soy so I don't have to worry if the container um, have some uh, leftover of the parasol and I'm using it with the soy so this one already comes along with the um, tabletop and also with a spoon um, it's the silver spoon there for mixing and the centering wick tool so that will save you a little bit of something when you're purchasing this set 
the next one is this Avery um, stickers what I like with Avery is you can customize the print the sticker um, with this we put our own um, dimension as to the length and the width of the um, sticker and also you can choose your um, the paper as well with this one this is a cream but it doesn't look cream in the in the uh, camera but this is a cream and this goes with a 15 stickers for each paper so we're just trying and we've purchased five so let's see if this will work with the container that we will be using for our candle so try to check avery and i will put the link in the description box but you can i can put the uh code as well for you to have the 10 percent off when you're going to buy the avery and this is coming from london luxury code so this is not my code yet i will be having my own code in the next session and the next soy so the wax that i will be using is s16 and s100 so let's see if um which one works for me s16 is the para soy s100 is the pure soy so let's see if um which one works best 464 is also good it's just that there's no consistency that's that's the one thing that i'm working on right now i am happy to use the uh, golden wax 464 it's just that i need consistency when i am making my candle so let's hope for the best for the pure uh soy 100 and the s16 which i've purchased from london luxury candles so i'll put it in the description box as well and the s100 the pure soy goes with the five kilograms of this as well so i'm hoping to get more and i will put it in this description box if you are looking for your um um wax and to use and to try so i hope that you had a glimpse with what i am using and um, which one will works for me i'll share that with you in the future and also you guys can try if that is your passion you know what i wanted to share with you the lesson for this vlog is this um i had a word with my colleague this morning and he told me that um you know when you we were when we were young and uh, we've tried our best to uh, pursue our profession and we keep on what we did before was we keep on studying 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 until we get our masters etc etc and we tried to get uh, as much as possible our uh, chosen um, um, association or associate with um, our uh, accounting profession so that was in our mid 30s or 30s and like that so after a certain point in our lives when we've come to realize what is really our passion and then he said you know I've I've, I'm fed up with eight to five work and he he's so stressed of what he will do on Monday after he finishes work on, on Friday so he said so what are your plans and then he said are or what is your plan um because for me i have now come into this stage of my life where i am pursuing my passion what is be what is the difference between passion and uh of um what craft are you gonna be happy doing for the rest of your life or something like that for me i am not into like studying again and again to get the accounting profession because i've been through that i've maybe i am at this at this stage where i am now happy with the profession of accountancy with regards to my work um where i am working from home but i am into the other side of where i am pursuing my passion of into this craft i really wanted to do something which i am starting to grow my own brand and um and i have to do something i have to start from one step of doing one thing that i really love so i hope that you are also trying to find the past where you wanted to grow and live happily with it because if you just keep on thinking you just keep on um you know dreaming and not doing anything 
to make it happen it will not happen so don't be scared to take the first step to make your dream come true or to reach your dream something like that i wanted to talk to about this more in the next episode because that conversation that i had with my friend it's really like a worth of time sharing with you so i hope that you will um watch my next version my next episode where i will be talking about my passion why i am comfortable doing working from home and not thinking of going through another work outside my home and um why am i doing this business as well or why i am doing this kind of craft that i am doing as well so i hope that you will listen to my story in the next episode and this is janice b saying be brave be you and just be true thank you for watching bye